Hello, my beautiful snakes. Happy Chinese New Year on February the 5th, 2019. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. I work with my angels and guides. We have created Sugarfoot Tarot. Thank you to my channel. Thank you for all the comments you have made, uh, for the readings I have received, and for the donations I've been kindly given to. Thank you very much. Uh, again, I still have my my um, Dharma, my sidekick. Uh, you know, the four set orders the universe. I got some lava rocks for her. And uh, so we've got February. Now, before we do that, what's very important to me is that you visit as many readers as you can, astrologers, numerologies, learn as much as you can about crystals, as much as you can learn or understand about yourself and others, the better the world will be. So February, February 4th, we have a new moon, uh, 2019. Year of the Pig is Chinese New Year on the 5th. Uh, we, for your those of you that are in the United States, we've got February 14th, Valentine's Day. The new moon is on the 19th, and it goes into Pisces. So a wonderful, uh, wonderful month in February. It is the pig, so it's going to be a great year. We're all going to take on the modality of having a good time, enjoying life, enjoying our wealth, saving money, spending money, enjoying entertainment, enjoying food. After a year that we all had last year, we need this year of the pig. So wonderful. My beautiful snakes, um... First, I want to read you a few information, and then we've already pulled your cards, and we'll do your cards. So, my snakes, you're on the sixth zodiac. So, as we know, that the Jade Emperor has um, um, invited everyone to the party, and we know that the rat was the first one. He jumped on the ox's back. They got there. The rat jumped off, which made the rat first. Ox was second. Um, the tiger got there third. Um, got there early in the morning. Had to settle for third. Um... Uh, the fourth, we've got the hare, um, we've got the we got the dragon, you know, and now we've got the snake. Um, it says here, let's see here, it says here, because of similar looks of the snake and the dragon were good friends, they arrived at the exact same time. But unfortunately, due to the snake's different size difference, the jade emperor saw the saw the dragon first and then made then the snake. So this, that's why you're number six because of that dragon. The snake is also associated um, with the hours between 9 and 11 in the morning. That's probably your favorite time of the day. It says here, snakes are usually have negative um, detection um, with the symbols of rip, witch, witchcraft. But that's not the case. It is in, in Chinese mythology. It has a human head and a snake body. The snakes have a deep and complex mind. But if they love, they love with their entire heart. And it says your snakes are humorous and sophisticated. You guys, you don't like small talk or thinking about small everyday problems. Um, chaotic environment, they are in the eye of the storm. Snakes are able to hold their ground and calm and think through situations. They are always making new plans and following them without relying on others' input. They're usually correct but also comes from the distress of others. You cannot judge a snake by its cover. Their slow and lazy talking hide the fast-paced thinking, and um, behind their calmness, they, alert and observe, they are alert and observant. Men born under the snake year is mysterious and experienced. They are gentle and know how to stay how to say the right things in an awkward situation they can also be dependent on cracking a joke different from others these men believe in romance they often give their significant other sweet surprises they are also creative and empathetic however they crave to be the center of attention and easily become jealous this makes it harder for them to socialize women that are snakes are graceful and elegant they are both Beautiful inside and out, their confidence, and manifest their high fashion and appreciate the classic art. They are always thinking ahead, though they off, often they act if they don't care. They often act as if you guys don't care. They are high, they have high standards for their friends. You guys desire for wealth and power, and they're you're intelligent and you're in, intelligent and skilled. Success will always well, shouldn't have a problem with success. I'm having troubles talking today. 
However, their greatest fault is their jealousy. They cannot stand seeing others who are more successful. This becomes motivated to work harder and become better. Compatibility. You're compatible with the monkey, rooster, and ox. Least compatible with the tiger and the pig. Your colors are red, yellow, and black. Your numbers are 2, 6, and 8. Oh, your mineral is amethyst. Very cool. Your least colors that you unlucky colors are white, gold, and brown, and unlucky numbers are one, six, and seven. Very cool, my snakes. Thank you so much. So these are the cards that I chose, and we're using the romance card and the sexual magic. So the first half of February, my snakes, you have received the Hierophant, Four of Wands, and the uh, Knight of Coins. Very interesting. Um, you've got your ancestors, your guides, your spirit guides, your angels that you're working with you. Um, you're, you, they live through you. You channel them. You love history. Very wise. You love to work as a team. Be a team at your work. Be ahead of your team. People come to you because you are wise. Um, you also have all of your ducks in a row. Four of wands. Um, you know where you're going. You're on the right path. You are stable. You have a stable job, stable home, stable vehicle. Um, your friends are stable. Um, you're number one. They hold you in the highest regard. They come to you for wisdom. They borrow your truck to help move your ha move to a new house. They, um, everyone's around you. That's fabulous. And the king of coins. So you are the king and the queen. Don't get don't get caught up in the sexes, king and queen. Um, money is good the first half of February. Let's pull another card here. What else about the first half of February for my snakes? Ten of swords. So yeah, you know, last year was rough. Last month was rough. You're a phoenix rising from the ashes. You have your ancestors, your guides helping you. Whatever has happened, you're a phoenix rising. You're shedding your old skin. You're starting over. And you're back on top, my snakes. Fabulous. Second half of February. You got the eight of cups. You're walking either away from something or towards something. You're hung up. You're walking away from being hung up from the past. The past is the past. Your enemies are your enemies. Um... And you're walking away from the, the what was all in your head. Swords. You were all stressed out on whatever the past was. You're over it. The second half of February, you're walking away from all of that. And you're walking toward happiness. Let's ask what you're walking toward. I'm so sorry, my snakes, how terrible the past has been. Oh, goodness. Karma. Judgment. Karma. Um, you're walking toward. You have. Everything good is going to come to you. The past is past. It's crashed. It's over. Um, you will be on high. You will be on high. You will be. You'll get your accolades. You'll be celebrated. You will be in bliss. The past is. You needed a rainy day to be happy right now. Um, the judgment's over. Not judgment on you. Judgment on the world of your competitors, of the people in your past. It's your time. So February for for work, your friends, your family. Um, whatever happened in the past, you will prevail and the gods, the angels, your guides, your ancestors, you will reap the rewards for it. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Very cool. So let's do singles. My beautiful singles for the month of February for my snakes. Um, um, looks like somebody, it had a long distance relationship. Or maybe we were broke up for a while and they came back together or you ran into someone or someone on social media got a hold of you and or maybe a blind date. Um, but I see you getting or them getting together with you. Um, lightning has struck twice. So it's someone you might have known from your past. It's all good. And you're going to celebrate together. You're going to get together. Everyone's got mates. Um, everyone's married. You might be the unmarried one. And you're celebrating. Everyone has, they're all couples. You're hanging out with couples or great friends. And you're going to get together with someone, my singles. Get back together with someone. Um, it could be on the 7th. Um, it could be on the 14th. We could double this. Two sevens. 
the clocks here, so it could be on Valentine's Day, but it looks like romance. And for the sexual magic cards, yeah, I definitely see um, someone offering you um, love. And, and you are going to communicate back and forth with this person that could live, a, could live a little bit away from you. And they're traveling to come see you. But I see, I see happiness, my single snakes. Happiness for my singles and my couples. Promenade in the park. I see happiness. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. And I see um, this is either you taking off and your mate sitting in the shadows and letting you shine or vice versa you're letting um your mate shine but i think with you being a snake you're taking off and taking control and they're letting you and they're taking they're keeping the home fires burning for you they're they're rooting for you and you always have people behind you and your mates behind you and with you supporting you and um i just see you being a a, a, a god a domestic goddess or or uh um, in domestic, meaning you could you could be living at home. Your mate could stay home. Um, you could be out working hard, and or they could be out working hard. Um, but I just see you happy and sexy, sexy and content, and and talking to one another, and them being on the same page with you taking off or them taking off, and them you know letting you shine. But there is some secrets going on here. There is some fighting. So your mate or you have to decide. You know, are you going? Are they going to let you shine? Are you going to let them shine? You know, there is some there's some internal struggles there, the paradox. You know, um, let's ask the cards about this moon card and find out what more about this moon card. Yeah, you know, you could be dealing with a mother-in-law or father-in-law or your mother or your father's kind of involved. Um, there could be somebody that's kind of after you or after your mate that has a crush on your mate. and But you and your mate are strong. Someone else is trying to impede in. And this is the secrets. This is this modality secrets that someone is keeping. But I see you, you're the couple being strong. You and your mate being strong. Um, but somebody trying to weasel in, don't let them. Don't let those sneak secrets. Well, if they do come out, stop, listen. Because you know you and your mate are good. It's that other person that needs to be blocked out. Let's ask one more card or two more cards on this three. Um, you have a child. My my couples have a child. They could be um, going to college, getting ready to drive. Um, and you two are getting back together. And you're, you're, the, you've raised the kids and you're looking a different way, and you're maybe one decides to go to work, one doesn't, letting them shine. Yeah, so I believe it's you or your mate are going to just sit back, and, and you or your mate, whichever one, is going to take off. I think it's you that's going to take off and shine, and your mate's going to sit back and let you do that, be the wind beneath your wings. And I think it's all going to be positive. I think this third person's not going to rear their ugly head, and if they do, it'll just be a speed bump, because you and your mate are good. So thank you so much, my snakes. Have a happy Chinese New Year, and we will talk soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.